five i all over negative two uh, minus six i. Uh, so we have a binomial down here. We need to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate. To get our conjugate, we're just gonna change the sign in front of the imaginary part, and we're gonna multiply the top and the bottom by negative two plus six i. Five i times negative two would be negative 10 i. 5i times 6i would be plus 30i squared. Negative 2 minus 6i times negative 2 plus 6i. So this is a binomial times a binomial. So we got the foiling thing happening. Negative 2 times negative 2 would be positive 4. My outers would give me negative 12i. My inners would give me positive 12i. All that stuff's going to cancel out. Negative 6i times positive 6i would be minus 36i squared. Substitute in negative 1 everywhere you see i squared. So this will be negative 10i plus 30 times negative 1 all over 4 minus 36 times negative 1. And let's clean this up a little bit. So this will be negative 10i minus 30, 30 times negative one would be negative 30 plus negative 30 is just minus 30. And uh, 36 times negative one uh, would be negative 36 minusing or subtracting negative 36 would be adding 36. So this is four plus 36. And four plus 36 would just be 40. So we have negative, 10i minus 30 over 40. This can be simplified, okay? We can factor out, for example, we can factor out a 10 from our uh, negative 10i minus 30, and when we factor out this 10, we're basically dividing both of these by 10. Negative 10i divided by 10 would just be negative i, uh, and then 30 divided by 10 would be 3, the minus sign in here, well, minus 3, and it wouldn't hurt to just, you know, quickly distribute this to make sure it matches up, that we didn't make any mistakes, especially with signs here with all these negatives involved. 10 times negative i is negative 10i, 10 times negative 3 is negative 30, so I think we're good. Now, because this is 10 times this quantity, I can uh, divide my top and my bottom by 10, I can reduce 10 over 40, this is the same thing as one fourth. So this is the same thing as negative i minus three over four, which is the same thing as negative three minus i over four. Uh, and if I wanna write it as a, a complex number in standard form with a plus b i, I can write this as negative three fourths minus one fourth i. Uh, so all those answers are equivalent there. And just to show my answer that's under there, notice that I stopped there uh, with the negative i minus 3 over 4.